Greetings you all, the name's Juno RJ and finally I'll be doing a review on the one and only Lego Marvel Superhero sets and that is the Spider-Man set which is the Spider-Man's Doc Ock Tentacle Trap which is for ages 7 to 14 and it's the uh, number of 76059 the, the piece are like 456 pieces and retails about $40 I suppose I mean it just it was on sale in my country and it's, I think it's expensive for on the left side you see there are like five minifigures you got Doc Ock, Vulture, Captain Stacy, White Tiger and uh, Spider-Man himself you got Spider-Man logo over there and the Spider-Man logo over there now this is the um, other side over there um, you can see that over there and then that part over there and we move on to the back over there now yes the back I suppose is kind of exciting you get these two awesome things over there comic book included build your own superhero Spider-Man set but you know I was thinking let's do an unboxing holy heck it's smaller than I was expecting As you can see here, what's inside, I have arranged it. You have three number bags. You have bag from one to three. And then you have this instruction booklet. A, a comic book, which, here you go, the comic book. And also the stickers. Yeah, there you go, that's a sticker over there. And here's everything built in the set right over here. As you can see, I got everything built. I got the Doc Ock uh, Octobot over there. I got that um, Captain Stacy pol police boat. And I got these five minifigures with here with me. So let's get started with the minifigs. First of all, here we have Spider-Man. And Spider-Man looks very awesome in that detail there. This is actually the regular Spider-Man that we get back in 2012. But this is actually fine in my opinion. But what's exclusive about Spider-Man is that he comes with this piece over here. Which, um, yeah, this is how you use the piece there. Which, that is actually a new piece. This is actually a new piece. Which is shown over here and you actually just attach it to this web over here this web is actually a new piece which is awesome and voila I thought that we're getting a new spider-man but we're actually sticking with the regular spider-man but it's fine to see spider-man with this new piece over there and I would like to say that you know having a uh, spider-man is actually fine but it would be better if we actually have a new spider-man especially this one over here with this web piece over there Actually, that's a fine Spider-Man we have. Next up is White Tiger. And uh, White Tiger is actually an okay uh, figure to me. And uh, this piece is actually similar to Black Panther, which I did not get to show you Black Panther. Because I have to set it, I show you on Instagram, and it don't, they don't get reviewed. And that's the back over there. And she gets this uh, piece over there with those uh, circular type pieces. And this hair piece over there, which is actually interesting, but sometimes the hair piece could like easily get off, which... It's kind of rubbly actually like you put it on just like that and there you go but the white tiger actually I think her character is okay like after me seeing the ultimate Spider-Man TV series we finally have ourselves a white tiger minifigure so that's cool next up is Captain Stacy oh Captain Stacy I thought it was Captain Sully actually um, this guy here he has a police officer badge there uh, his actually his police uniform is actually kind of interesting there I kind of like that background in the police there. And Captain Stacy might have looked accurate to the comics. Or it could have been looked more accurate to the Amazing Spider-Man movie, which the sequel disappoints. And this actually, uh, this hairpiece and the figure sounds familiar. I think I've ever seen it, but I haven't bought the set yet. What was it? Oh, Doctor Who. <laughs> um, basically, he has a double-sided face there. So he has that expression you just saw before. And yes, he comes with this expression right over here. So he's kind of surprised when he sees Doc Ock attack. But that will be it. That will be Captain Stacy for now. I guess he needs a room. Next up is Vulture, which he comes with this green wings, which we've seen in the Captain, uh, in the Avenger uh, with Falcon. In the 2014 Avengers Hulk Lab Smash set. And he looks kind of accurate to the comics. Like, it's, it's all similar to that. And he's got that uh, menacing um, face. And in the back, it's like that. I think it's okay. I think this vulture figure is fine. Which, I don't know what kind of bird is that vulture. 
that's the back over there and then you just put back a uh, vulture oh heck that's his head sorry and that is him but this character is actually fine actually so nothing bad about vulture but vulture looks accurate i mean they could have add some extras for him or that or just like that i think that's fine that is vulture now this over here is doc ock basically this one looks kind of a little bit accurate to the comic books yeah this version is accurate to the comic books i say um this does not look like the one from the ultimate spider-man tv series but that's okay because they had to remove the Spy the ultimate logo from it and this is his back over there with his um place to stick four tent uh, tentacles which is actually awesome and that's his um his happy face basically but he has another face that's when he gets really pissed off when spider-man attack like oh god spider-man's gonna attack me i can't let that happen well, you know what what he's gonna need. And this is him with his giant tentacles. Like, holy heck, it's kind of hard to fit him on screen. As I see the tentacles over here, it's moving there. You can move sets like that. Just like, holy heck, wow. Like, lots of these menacing tentacles. And you can move there. And um, now what's cool about these new tentacles is that you don't get these um, type of those, you know, those clip piece. But this one here, it has like three fingers, which is kind of accurate. I mean, this could have been like a triangle size, but it's just like that. You could have added one, but that's actually okay. I mean, it's just very, very upgradable. It's just very awesome. I'm kind of liking this. It's cheesy. Plus, you can make the character stand with its tentacles. Go on. Whoopsie. That's even possible if you uh, make him stand. As you can see over there, that's just very, very awesome isn't it first of all i want to start with the uh, captain stacy boat that we have over here it has this a uh, police 77 uh sticker it's a um, yeah sticker piece there there's one over there and one over there and uh, that's the uh compartment you can see there's not printed there's not a sticker where you can place captain stacy and uh, let's put his figure there the boat does not float which is a thing but it could have been better if it's float but that's alright because it's connected to a piece like this, which is why it does not float. And then you have those pieces there. And uh, this over here comes with a stud shooter, which could have been Captain Stacy's axe series, but use it as a weapon, which it works like this as a shooting camera. And if you lost piece, there's actually an extra stud shooter, which is actually cool. So, um, and over here, you're actually attached to a web, which is actually um, this web here. And um, I'm going to put Spider-Man there. Now this is, is a surfboard, which is actually awesome to get. But the surfboard there contains two stickers, one over here and one over here. That's the con, but the pro is that it's easy to put. So now as I put Spider-Man in, um, in there, and then I just have to attach this web. Like there. And I think Spider-Man is surf up to defeat the Doc Ock. And here's the Octobot over here. It's kind of like big as heck and that's just awesome. This is the back of Doc Ock. That piece over there. So what you want to do, do with Doc Ock is actually you want to actually remove this piece over here. And um, oh god these tentacles are just wow. Now with the tentacles you... Doesn't matter if you want to do like this actually. Uh, yeah. So basically you want to remove these pieces over here one by one. Oh god, I just like move the whole thing. So only like remove this part there. One tentacle each part. I'm gonna put that inside. Yeah, just like that. Oh god. Yeah, just move one by one. So there now you have actually this piece over here and you have uh, four tentacles with you so let's get to the octopod immediately now what you want to do is to actually when you got the uh dark ox tentacle removed you might want to actually put one by one each one over there you have the option to do that because that's how it's built and then another one over here okay i don't know if i can show you that yeah and then we need two more over there just add one over there and 
and one more over here and uh, what do you do with pe this piece over here now as we get to the back there's actually a place where we can hold, store this uh, piece the technical holders for Doc Ock and you just have to do this it's called technical trap and when I heard the word technical I just got my mind <laughs> so let's start up uh, with the um, legs first now on this legs you get four of these uh, tentacle uh, legs over here and there's a sticker piece right there four on each and what's disappointing is that you have to build four of these and what's interesting is that you can also move this around just like that yeah I can move that or maybe you can actually um, move this one now also in each each of these you can actually bend it however you want it to be that's the bottom over there it's just when I see it, it's just wow, actually, with the suction cups. And first of all, here's another sticker there, where you can see Sp Doc Ock's Run Track Spider-Man. And there's actually a place where you can put Doc Ock. Just slide him, just like that, and there he goes. He goes in like that. Now, first, I think I'll get to the tentacle part. Is that, first of all, you get these things, each thrusters, back of them each. There are four stickers. And, um... Once you put them inside here, it's actually like a ball joint, which you can arrange it anywhere you want. And then you can hold up a figure for your tentacle, which I forgot to mention. Like the claws can hold this. Yeah, you can hold a, a, a um, white tiger as an example. Sorry, white tiger, everyone thinks you're the good example because Spider-Man's on his webs and that. And there it goes, she just, she just fly off just like that, free from the tentacles. Yeah, no guys, her, her, her beast. Now, I do want to say this, but this is kind of like the f good part of it. Now, you can see below it, there's actually this piece over here, which I'm trying to get the, uh, oh, I can just do that. Um, basically, what you want to do is that when you spin this around, it actually spins just like that so that you can tag Spider-Man, anything that comes in its way. And that is actually, this is actually kind of cheesy, you know, this is kind of like the best part of it. You know, you can just wave each of these four tentacles however the way you want and that's actually a cool feature now the last one I want to show you is actually these two stickers over here and uh, this is actually like a stud shooter but this is more of like a machine gun actually so basically Doc Ock has other choices to shoot I'm gonna actually just put my hand so that it don't go out of the way and that's how it works now the, um, the stud shooter just spread everywhere and I don't know I can only find like approximate of five of them and I didn't know where the other one go, but actually that's kind of a cool, cool, cool feature there. And that was the Doc Ock Tentacle Trap. And now let me give you my thoughts. Overall, I think the LEGO set so far is good. I really enjoy building this set over here, the Doc Ock Tentacle Trap. Now you get five interesting figures, including Doc Ock self, which has an exclusive look, which is actually good. And their tentacles are updated. And also you get Vulture, which is actually new. Also White Tiger, Captain Stacy, and Spider-Man. And I think the boat is actually good. I think they could have not used a stud shooter. The stud shooter actually could have been useful for Captain Stacy's weapon, I guess. Or maybe they should add something like spring loaded shooter with the strings on it. Spider-Man's uh, surfboard overall is good, but it's better if it's actually printed. I think the boat is actually a good build, but uh, it would be better if they actually, if it can float on water. And my opinion on Doc Ock Tentacle Trap is actually pretty much good. And uh, the tentacles are actually good so far. I love how the tentacles design where you can use it for Doc Ock, also for the Octobot. And also those um, stud, uh, those stud shooter over there. And also how the way it, uh, it swings. It would be very interesting if it has like eight tentacles like that, just like an octopus. But I think four tentacles is actually enough because you get four below and four on the hands, which is actually pretty cool. Overall, that is my opinion on the Doc Ock tentacle trap. What did you guys think of the uh, Lego set? You want to buy it? There's a link in the description below. Also, there are three links you can see where you can follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Google+. And uh, tell me what LEGO set should I review next. There are lots of LEGO reviews that I'll be working on. Um, that'll be all for this LEGO review. I appreciate you guys for watching this, and I'll see you all another time. Bye-bye. That like page over there. That's why I can afford it.